hi everyone, it is Carly, and I just got home from school. So actually today Lizzie got me a present because she felt bad for Pipsqueak. And she got me gummy worms, gummy bears, which my friend Melanie wanted to open on the bus. So some of them are already gone. And then some Jolly Ranchers and a card that just says sorry for your loss. So... Thank you, Lizzie, for getting me that. And also, school is getting more and more fun, to, I guess. It's not really, like, as boring anymore. Like, in the past couple of days, we've actually oops, done, like, fun stuff. So, <sighs> things are actually getting interesting. Okay, I just realized how weird this looks because, like, this is on this side. Nothing's on the other side. It kind of looks weird. But... We are going to film my Aeropostale haul, and I wanted to watch YouTube videos, but my computer is dead, and I can't find the charger. So, I'm going to talk to you while I set this up. So, <laughs> just kidding, I found it. But, um, ugh. so I have dance today, so really quickly, I'm going to watch... Some YouTube videos, wait till my mom comes upstairs, then film the Aeropostale haul, and then I have dance, which sounds fun. And today my health teacher wasn't here, and we had a sub, and he didn't care what we did. So literally we did anything we wanted to, and he didn't care. We None of us like even did work. We all just sat there and talked. It was so fun. So I'm going to watch, let's see. See if David David Dobrik has posted anything. Um. Nope. How about comment down below like your favorite YouTuber or someone that I should watch because I watch YouTube like all the I have like a whole right here. So because I watch YouTube like every single day so. And I'm going to get a snack and I opened it. And there's like 20 cups of pudding. This and is all Chase can eat right now. It's gross. Pudding every single day. Jello pudding. He's got these uh, protein drinks, coconut water. He can't chew food. He just can't eat anything that he has to chew very much. So Jello. Um, I don't know what else your dad got for him in here. And then in our turnstile. He got chicken broth. <laughs> he has to eat that or drink if it if he wants it. Chicken noodle soup, and then look at he got him a ton of tuna because he's supposed to eat a lot of protein. Turn, wait till you see our tuna. Oh, look, you guys can see all of our canned goods. Oh, all this yep. and that and that. Yeah, <laughs> tons and tu tons of tuna. Tuna's so good. I'm gonna eat some. I feel like we're feeding Chase as he's a baby. <laughs> it is. It's just like feeding a baby again. Your dad should have just bought him baby food. I eat this. Baby carrots. You can have tuna. Okay. Baby carrots. Baby, uh, we should have just bought him everything baby food. Ew. Hey guys, so trying to kind of get back to normal something or other schedule. Right now we're leaving to get ready to go to Carly's dance. She wanted to stop and of course get something to eat on the way. Um, Chase is actually at the doctor's office or I should say dentist's office right now getting a checkup. So I think we'll have an update for you on how his mouth is doing today. And what I really wanted to do on Wednesday here was the pile of stuff that I started to, actually I didn't even get very far. I call it a pile and there's two things. But I was going to take everything off the fireplace and I need to like pack all of our Christmas stuff away. But unfortunately it is the 5th today and our decorations are still up. But it'll happen soon enough. I have uh, my pile of stuff here to edit Carly's video for her Carly Reese channel while she's at dance. And yeah, I guess that's about it. We're uh, just trying to get ready to walk out the door. And I don't think I really officially said hi to you guys today, other than filming Chase this morning and showing you how his lip was a little bit fat. But he's feeling a lot better and he has a positive attitude, other than the fact that he refuses to go to school, which is sad that, um, that he's that worried about other kids picking on him. But I can understand it's a tough age and, you know, we'll get the homework from his teachers and 
Well, he'll get the work done. I'm not gonna worry about it. So it's freezing outside, so I have to wear the heavy coat. Got my boots on, and I'm gonna go out in this like 12 degree or 10 degree weather. I'm not sure what it is. Is the light okay? You didn't even. Oh, I'm fine now. Look at that, chompers. All right, see, now can you hand me a period probe? I'm sure. not gonna probe you after the chase. That's just a point. But this was open, this was open. And bite right together. And this was flipped here, and then a little bit. And on the inside, I've got tie, tie, tie. And he's already starting to heal. Yeah, that looks good for just being. Just all right, Chase. So, how did your dentist appointment go? Good. What did he say? He said like it's healing fast. And I don't have to put ice on it as much anymore. How's the pain? Doesn't hurt. No. So he thought everything looked good. You've been taking your medicine doing your cream he's got here's what his diet consists of chocolate pudding <laughs> what is that from oh, that's, that's a long time ago that's from, i can't eat that right now i was gonna say that's from christmas um so he thought your gums looked good can you still feel the stitches and stuff what did, what do you say about the cut in your lip he said if it looks like good he could probably just take it all out on monday the inside too not like the metal bar and stuff that just the stitches in your gums yeah what do you think so you're gonna be ready to go back to school then depends when's your appointment on monday during the day or at the end of the day i think during the day <clears throat> is it early in the morning i think it's like four o'clock oh it is not till the end of the day then huh because i was gonna say maybe you could go to school on monday if no. it was early enough i'm not going to school with stitches no, I'm saying after you get them out. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. I'll probably be swollen too, and I'll probably have a lot of pain if he's taken out stuff. So. Well, you need to get back to school. Minimally Tuesday, then. We agree with that. Depends on how my face looks. You'll be fine. All your friends have seen it in the videos, anyways. Have they texted you and said that they've seen it in the videos? No. What about the kid who, um,. Elbowed you. Has he seen it? No. Have you? Has he texted you? Let's make sure you're okay. Well, that's cool. It doesn't <laughs> hurt. It doesn't hurt that much anymore. When I laugh, it kind of hurts. Does it? Yeah. Oh boy. Six and a half hours later. So we're back from dance and I really was going to try to film Carly doing part of her solo but she actually only ran it once tonight. The rest of the time they were kind of spending time cleaning it up and uh, working on Emily's solo as well because they kind of like share practice time. Um, on Thursday nights and so I wasn't able to share any of that with you guys but they do have a dress rehearsal coming up and I probably will try to get some snippets of each routine during dress rehearsal but not overdo it because I know it usually makes Carly nervous if she knows that I'm filming her and I don't want to make her super uncomfortable but we have our first competition coming up the end of this month so that's exciting but um actually carly had some homework to do and so she came home took a shower and said as she was doing her homework she was gonna chat with you guys and she ended up not she actually went to bed angry because she got in trouble because when we got home i grabbed her dance bag off the kitchen table because it was you could just tell it was like stuffed with clothes and stuff because like for ballet she has to wear um tights and a bodysuit on thursdays but then they all always end up changing and taking their tights off well I was going through a dance bag so I pulled all the shoes out and these black um, like I guess jazz shoes that they have to wear for their um, musical number uh, she only had one of them in her bag and it's just like that is my biggest pet peeve with kids I can't 
stand disorganization, like not being responsible for your things. And I've had to deal with the, with all my kids. So it's all kids. I don't care. You could be the perfect kid and there's just something <laughs> about kids who just can't seem to keep their stuff together. But anyways, I'm going to answer a couple quick questions. So the first question is by Simply Dora, and she asks, did it hurt while in the process? And I'm assuming she's speaking of when Chase got his stitches, and uh, we didn't film him getting his stitches or like getting, like when they prepared him to get his stitches, and they basically gave him a shot of uh, lidocaine into his lip before they did the stitches. They just basically take a needle right in the lip and I think they might have done one in the outside and one in the inside but I'm not sure no, I can't remember but um the lidocaine numbs it so when they're doing the stitches you can't feel anything and then actually they put like a drape over his head with just a hole in the middle where his lip was sticking out and so it was his eyes were covered and actually I had one at one point said chase does it hurt? Can you feel anything? And he's like, oh, she already started. And she was sewing on his lip already, like halfway done, and he couldn't feel any of it. So he actually said that his teeth hurt way more than his lip hurt, even though it was gashed open so wide. <laughs> All right, so next video is by Alicia Nielsen. Can you please make a video while going through Carly's room before the move? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. We are going to share with you guys all kinds of videos in terms of us getting ready to move. Whether it be things that we're doing over at the new house to get ready, decorating, setting up furniture, um, we're going to be like, for example, hiring someone to design like closet organizers when we get the hardwood floor put in, like all that fun stuff that that's going to be coming up these next few months. And then things here at the house, we have so much to do in terms of like going through the house, getting rid of things, packing things, selling things. It's going to be a huge part of our life for the next three to four months. And we are definitely going to be sharing all that with you. So yes, you're going to see Carly's room being cleaned, packed, empty, the whole nine yards. That's going to be it for the questions that I'm going to answer from you guys today. And as I was scrolling through, um, I did not see anybody requesting for a channel shout out. So if you guys don't already know, for the month of January, we were doing channel shout outs. For any YouTubers that have been working really hard on their channel, we want somebody who like has quite a good number of videos somebody who's been working on their channel for a while not just a couple weeks and we're just giving random shout outs to other youtubers to help grow your audience hopefully so that's gonna be it for our video today guys thanks for watching please thumbs up our video make sure you're subscribed every day we're getting closer and closer to 1 million subscribers that's our goal for 2017 and we really appreciate you coming here watching our videos every day and our question of the day for you is what is your biggest pet peeve so thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow bye